Rich Side Canine Nighttime Thoughts. Hanging out with some German Shepherds tonight. Hanging out on the place board. At least the place board for pets. It's actually an aggression table. Protection dogs. And police dogs. Anyway. I know. I shouldn't be so enthusiastic. But this is me. This is real. Anybody that knows me will tell you. This is how I talk in real life. This is how I've been talking. Everybody always said, man, you're going to slow down when you hit 20. This is when I was in high school. I hit 20 and I was a crazy ass Marine at the time. Then they said, you're going to slow down when you hit 25. I sped up. You're going to slow down when you hit 30. I sped up. You're going to slow down when you hit 35. I maintain. When you hit 40, though, it all goes downhill. Man, I'm 40. And I still get excited. Anyway, uh, um, it's just me and a whole lot of caffeine. But uh, hanging out with some German Shepherds tonight. I love German Shepherds. Obviously, I'm a Malinois Dutch Shepherd guy, but I truly love German Shepherds. And I will say this. Sorry for all this camera visual feedback. We got spotlights all over the place for Ridgeside K9. If uh, you come out here at nighttime, it's uh, spotlights round and round and round. Anyway, as I was saying, firm believer, Malinois, great dog, love him, obviously. But a uh, German Shepherd will absolutely die to protect you, and a Malinois will die to please himself. I said that all wrong. A German Shepherd will die to please you, and a Malinois will die to please himself. And since it's a shepherd kind of night, I figured I'd bring out another shepherd. Different shepherd. Hey, look at me. Get that light in your face so your parents can see you. This guy's such a beautiful dog, man. Long haired, black and tan, real dark, dark dog. Um, young dog, trained dog, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. I don't know at this point. It was a long time ago. But his parents are travelers, world travelers, world travelers. So he's here all the time. And we love that. <laughs> but uh, I love boarding dogs that we trained in the past. Why is that? Every dog trainer will tell you because you can have them off leash. So breaking, maintaining, exercising, man, it's so much easier. Put them on a the collar, boom, they're free. And uh, I love it. But he's rocking and rolling. We'll bring over here in light. Let me show you how beautiful this dog is. Of course, he's not going to look at me. He wants to go run and gun. But uh, this is truly a beautiful dog. Man, I'll check it out. What's up? What are you doing? He's looking to go, man. I swallowed a gnat. Come on, pup. Nighttime, he's on the hunt. And there he goes. <laughs> Off to do his thing. Love what you do. Never work a day in your life. Nice. Put that pretty guy away and got out this junkyard banger. Mr. Tyson. I actually love his dog. Old dog, very stressed dog, but uh, he's a phenomenal dog. Let me tell you why. When we trained this dog, again, it was actually a couple years ago. He's actually back to board now, too. And um, true story. You ready to go run? Running too much. Too old to run like that. Come on, walk it off. Let's go. Let's go. We're out of here. Um, true story with this dog, which is really cool, about Tyson. I'm doing this thing. When I got called about this dog, the dog belongs to the family member of a local law enforcement officer. And um, they called me and said, hey, we're overseas. Um, I, I believe they were in Aruba at the time. And we had a dog sitter watching a dog. And they came in the house and he bit the dog sitter. And um, the dog actually used to be aggressive. The law enforcement officer went over, met the dog before, and the dog bit him. So I get the call. Hey, the dog is basically backed up on the upper floor. won't come off. If you go up, he's going to try to bite you. He's biting everybody who goes in the house. Uh, they live one county away. So loaded up, had all my equipment, and uh, went out. Basically went in with a bite suit and a slip lead and uh, got him on slip and brought him out. Had to get him in a crate. That's always fun. Not so much. And uh, we started training, man. And... He comes back to board now often. Uh, I really don't think he can board anywhere else because he is a little reactive dog. But he is, as you can see, off leash, living his best life, doing his best, 100% uh, controllable. His mom needs to be a little more disciplined and hold him a little more accountable, but that's okay. Great family. And um, now when he's uh, comes to hang and bang, bring him over to the light real quick. Here he is in the light. You get a little better looking, Mr. Tyson. Hey, you know. Oh, that's so fun. That's my boy. He's got his little issues. But uh, he's an awesome dog, man. Get a lot of shepherds at Rich Side Canine. No doubt about that, boy. Between, I would say, shepherds and pit bulls is uh, probably collectively 60% of our business. Pretty crazy, right? Hundreds and hundreds of shepherds. Hundreds and hundreds of pit bulls. I get a lot of flack sometimes from IPO, IGP, Schutzen, whatever you want to call it, trainers. They will mess me on the side about German shepherds. <laughs> I ain't going to call none of them out. I got nothing but love for them. But, uh... Don't confuse, and I'll just say this is a blanket canine statement. Don't confuse what you can do with a dog when 
you get to spend time with that dog from the time a dog's like, you know, four months old until the dog's five. And then say, look what I did with this five-year-old dog and I helped train it for four years based on what I have to do in three to four weeks on a behavioral case. It's apples and oranges, right? Just something to think about. And then there was her. Where's she at? There's my girl. And then there was her. This little pup. This little Dutchy Malinois German Shepherd Mountain Special. That's what they call it. They call it a Mountain Special. So it's a cool story with this dog. Um, so sweet. I know, Mama. She, this is a true story. I just got the details today from the owner. Uh, she stopped over. The, uh, this dog was found at like seven weeks old in a brush pile on the mountain in the middle of nowhere. Like way deep into the woods. They were, they were home. They live on 300 acres. And um, they heard... <laughs> He's getting some love. And this is allowed right now. So when we're on the table right here, this is all engagement. We sit here, obviously, with bite dogs, protection dogs, stuff like this. This is a totally different purpose to be on the table. But with these house pets like this, this is we can hang out, give love. This is our little spot. But um, she was in a brush pile, six to seven weeks old, screaming. They heard the screaming for 10 hours, but they just assumed, stop biting my hand. They just assumed that it was another animal. You know, animals make weird noises on the mountain, right? All kinds of animals. And the screaming continued and continued and continued. And finally, her husband went off into the woods and basically just worked to the source of the sound. Heard the brush pile, heard the screaming. Mama, girl. Heard the brush pile, heard the screaming, and went into the pile and pulled out this little brindle, pointy ear pup. And um, this is in the middle of nowhere. I mean, nowhere. How the dog get there? Nobody knows. Where the hell did the dog come from? Nobody knows. How to, I mean, where the dog was makes no logical sense. How the dog survived screaming for 10 hours in the woods and didn't get eaten or killed by something else is just crazy. So the owner uh, believes it's divine intervention. She kind of laid out her story on a lot of different things. Mama, hey, come on, mama. Little young pup. Super, super, super. Um, how it all played out. Super cool story, man. But anyway, we're here rocking and rolling with her. Let me bring her to the lights for you. <laughs> That's with all puppies. You can't try to give them love or even touch them because then they go crazy. Oh, can a mama. Oh, so, oh. so the cool part about this dog that they don't really understand is that this dog is driven. And uh, this dog is real drive. And um, she's a worker. And uh, she's going to be a pistol. And I mean a handful. She, uh, no environmental fears. I mean, damn, talk about raising a stressful environment. But, uh, she has drive boy and she's a worker and she's going to be one to watch growing up. So we're super excited, super thankful that we got to get involved with this dog, especially this dog at such a young age that um, had such a cool little upbringing, man. Cool story. And, uh, you know, when you hear the owner tell the story and all the nuances that went with the story, all the happenstances and all the, the weird things that worked out for him, man, it's awesome chilling story almost when she tells it she gets emotional it's kind of chilling when you hear all the details anyway got more dogs to train the man the myth the legend he don't like being on camera he learned that trick a long time ago get off the camera no recordings no recordings allowed but uh where the hell did he go hold on all right we talked he's back jump back on camera this is mr blitzy so we showed you three shepherds we showed you a shepherd little dutchy mally cross and now we got the Dutch Malinois. Everybody would say no, it's a Belgian Malinois. There's no such thing as a Dutch Malinois. What's a Dutch Shepherd? It's a Malinois X. Maybe it's a cross. Man, where were you born, Blitz? Say, I was born in Mr. Highland. Give me this, Kong. Yeah. Don't you bite my hand. You always know Blitz's face. You ever see Blitz close? He's got his little mouth. And he's always going to have a Kong in his mouth. It's a safety precaution, believe it or not. Anyway, yeah. the, uh, I don't know what I was talking about. It's not important. But, um, let me show you Blitz in the light. <laughs> he, uh, so he don't like me being close with this camera when he's got a Kong in his mouth because this Kong is serious stuff. And um, it's pretty serious. It's got a death grip on it. I love it about him though. But 24-7, uh, man, he don't leave home without it. He don't walk without it. He don't leave without it. Kong driven. This dog will legit kill for a Kong. Where'd he go? He's in the light. Anyway, that's it, man. Um, pointy ear kind of night. We got some pit bulls back there. We got some little dogs. We got some brown visas. But uh, we just talking pointy ears. We're going to work back. Been a crazy busy day, man. We got so much done around the farm. Remember those days? Anybody that followed us like five years ago, remember Richside K9, Richside Farm. Richside Farm was busy today. 
all kinds of work. See all these lights I hit? Sorry, walking around nighttime, hitting lights up and right. Let's see. I don't know if you can see this. We uh, all kinds of work in it. Why is that bush shaking? Oh. Um, all kinds of work in the chicken coop today. Uh, cleared out a bunch of undergrowth trees. Awesome. Got that taken care of by an awesome guy. And then uh, you ain't gonna be able to see nothing. I'm about to show it in the light. Nobody wants to see a blacked out video. But over here, you can't see nothing, right? It's all clean. It looks great, man. Pretty cool. And this is where we end almost every night, me and Blitz. We come out of the kennel. He takes his place right there. I take my place right here. Um, this is the view for nighttime. You really can't see nothing but the stars. And uh, you can hear the hot tub behind us kind of creaking a little bit. It's a nice little sound. And we sit right here. Let me show you all. Just like this, we sit. I do emails. I hate this furniture, by the way. We got a killer patio, I'll admit, but I hate our furniture, man. It's so old, we just use it for dogs. But we'll sit like this, and we just talk, man. And I do my emails, and he sits there. And he don't move. He may lay down after a bit, but 99% of the time he'll sit and just hold that calm. Oh, there he goes. Look, you can see it on camera. Blitz relaxing. You saw it here first, guys. You saw it here first. I guess it's time for you to calm. <laughs> Hard life decisions. Rich side canine.